Hey guys, welcome back to another Dansky Live. Oh, it's good to be back. It is Friday. Oh yeah. Hope everyone is having a good week. Thank you so much again to everyone for joining. You're all absolute legends and I really do appreciate the support on every single stream. So thank you. So thank you so much. As always, I can't speak. We've got Leela, Alok, hello. Heart and Soul 57. Ali, Zach, Salim, Popinda with a squirrel emoji. Nice. Zach Johns, hello. Emmanuel Thomas Conrad from Germany. Hello from the UK, where the weather is sunny one minute and grey and miserable the next. You never know what you're going to get. It's never a dull moment in the UK. <laughs> bring back, hashtag bring back the dancing squirrel. All right, Poppy, calm down. All right. We've already got thicker. We don't need dancing squirrel merch as well. We're going to set Mike off. Speaking of which, <laughs> hey, don't know we were having some Friday fun. No, we moved it from yesterday. Um to today. Hello, Reese. Ah, oh, Sarah, amazing. Quinton, hello. Greg, Greg is back. Yo from DC. Ah, oh, amazing, guys. So, yeah, I thought I'd keep today open. We'll kind of keep it um, free and fun, as is the spirit on many a Friday. And in my head, I was thinking we'll do some logo designs um, specifically for you guys. I think we did this once before and um, I had a ton of fun doing this. It's nice because it kind of puts me on the spot as well and hopefully it's uh, a little bit of a window into my thought process and you can kind of see how I work. And uh, yeah, under a little bit of pressure as well. Rebecca, hello, hello. Excellent. So how does that sound? Doing some logos for you guys. Um, yeah, that's the plan. So let me know if that sounds good. Or we could do something else. Basically, I'm going to be just Dansky the design jukebox today. <laughs> Ficker is life. <laughs> hmm. Obviously, I've got my um, my coffee. You'll never believe what happened the other day as well. You know, on um, Tuesday, when we did design review, I literally got up after the stream and was like, yeah, cool. That was a good stream. Walked around the desk and just tripped over the cable and knocked a two grand camera on the floor. It's like my main camera, and I just knocked it straight on the floor. It was, uh, and it's fine. It, it's a tank of a camera. It's like a Sony A7 III, so it is a tank. And it was absolutely fine, but my, my God. It was just like, damn, really? Wow. So I had to kind of readjust it a minute ago because it was kind of a bit wonky. Tripod was on the wonk, you numpty, exactly. Yeah, it was like, oh, did you really just do that? Uh, maybe get out of the studio next time before you start celebrating a successful stream. <laughs> Quinton, ooh, do something with a Q. I have not found a Q logo I love yet. Yeah, Q. Q, that is an interesting letter. A Q logo. Huh, that could be quite fun. Hmm. Okay, sure. Why not? We'll start with a Q. What, um, hmm. Let's do Q for Quinton. Why not? Let's just, uh, let's get this going. Aye, there must be a nice font with a Q somewhere. All right, I'll start with A. I've got too many fonts to remember, so I'm going to start with A and then use the arrow keys just to scroll through them. We're going to see if something grabs my eye. I swear that's like the Spider-Man font or something. Hmm, Q, 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 Q. That's quite a nice one. Hmm. Well, we're using Quinton's name. What kind of font would you be, Quinton? If you were a font, just suspend, you know, just <laughs> reality for a second. You are, you are now a font. What kind of font are you? Are you a, a script font? Are you serif, sans serif? What kind of font would you be? I feel like I need some sort of direction here. Because I could just pick a nice looking Q. That's, mm, that's kind of nice. <laughs> and this will be a case of just going through literally all like 1200 fonts on my computer, which might take a while. That's quite smart. I like that. Don't say, Co Poppy, don't say Comic Sans. Don't say, look, Poppy. You're not a designer, all right? You're not a designer. 
<laughs> Do you understand the Comic Sans joke? Okay, I'm just... <laughs> it's alright guys, Poppy is my other half at home. She is the... She's the mother of my children, so I'm I'm allowed to give her a little bit of abuse. Also, I'm in the studio, which is uh, a few miles away from home, so I can I can say what I like here, and I'm um, I'm safe. <laughs> comic Sans, ha! Just kidding. Yeah, you're damn right. You're kidding. Gah. We ain't got time for your Comic Sans jokes. Right. Oh, okay. So Quinton says minimal clean with a tiny bit of quirk. Q for quirk. Okay. That's a great project idea. What a font to you. Oh, cheers, Greg. Just kind of came up with that one. That would be a fun one, wouldn't it? Should I write this down? Hang on. Let's write it down. What font are you? Yeah, you could kind of, what font are you? And you could design your own name in a font that represents your personality. Okay, well, something's telling me to keep hold of this font for later, so... Don't know what. That Q is quite nice. But Sans Serif, okay, right, so... Clear, <laughs> clean and minimal with a hint of quirk. We're a Fortune 500 company, please do not use Comic Sans. Come on. Cracking font. Okay, so, right, uh, finding a clean and minimal font, Quinton, I think is probably the easy bit, but finding one with a bit of quirk... That's going to be a bit more difficult. Ooh, that, that. No, wait, that's bad. That's not even sans serif. Move on, Dan. Right. Hmm. A bit of quirk, a bit of quirk, a bit of personality, something a bit odd or a bit different. Are you a little bit odd, Quinton? I feel like I'm a bit odd sometimes as well. Hmm. That's got an interesting cue. You know, we've got straight lines and we've got kind of the sort of sharper curve there. Yeah, maybe. Not really especially quirky, but, you know, we'll put a pin in that one. We'll hang on to that. That's not sans serif at all. <laughs> and for anyone new to this font speak, um, in layman's terms, sans serif is like your, your aerial font. Just a very kind of clean, um, just basically a very clean modern font and serif fonts are the ones that have the little flicks on them. It's obviously a terrible explanation, but I'll just grab a serif font. Oh wait, I've got one up here actually. What am I, what am I doing? There we go, yeah. So these little kind of flicks that you get at the top, these are called serifs. So that there is a serif font, and this one here does not have those little flicks. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call them, flicks. As you can tell, I'm not a typographer. But um, yeah, so if it has them, serif font. If it doesn't, it's a sans serif font. Right, quirk, quirk, quirk. Go, we are lacking on the quirky front, aren't we? It's not really quirky. Kind of like a magnifying glass. Do you like magnifying glasses, Quinton? <laughs> Brandon grotesque. Okay. Ooh, wow, that's an interesting one. Well, I have never seen a Q like that before. I don't even think that looks like a Q. But it would make a great kind of eye and then a smiley face. <laughs> I was going to say something else then, but <laughs> that get me demonetized. It's a good idea for a contest. A little odd. Yeah, I think we're all a little bit odd these days, especially, aren't we? My children are both pretty odd as well. Then again, they are like, you know, seven and three, so... They kind of get a pass. Quinton the Inspector. <laughs> what? <laughs> when did Quinton become Inspector Gadget? Right. Okay. Come on. <laughs> that's a that's a backwards cue. That's that. I mean, that is quirky, but just oh, that's just downright silly. I think. <sighs> Maybe. Maybe. I'm not necessarily loving the flick on the cue, but I could do my own if I want to. So. We'll put a pin in that one. And this is generally what I do when I'm looking for kind of um, ideas or a logo type or just I'm working on any kind of logo. I will literally get loads of fonts that that fit the brief that I like that I think will kind of do, do a good job. And usually when I've kind of got like a list of 
um, lots of different fonts it's much easier to kind of zoom back out and look at them all and go ah yeah okay these ones do work these don't kind of like a process of elimination that's a bit too much I think hmm not sure about that sans is French for without so sans serif is without serifs that is true that's correct leave the fonts make one <laughs> <laughs> no. hmm. I mean, I could do that, I suppose. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? That would be far more interesting than me going through fonts. All right. Fine. Leela, you twisted my arm. Let's make a font. It's sans serif, so uh, if it was kind of anything sort of, you know, cursive or whatever, I'd, I'd probably be like, eh, no, that could take me quite a while, but takes me a long time to do sort of things like that but because it's sans serif we could probably do this without spending days on it so hmm okay Quinton another question would you like a thin font would you be would you be like a thin a thin font or would you be like a a thick chunky font like thick with two Z's you know thick or thin what would you what would you say you are so this is how I would typically do a sans serif font. Uh, I've done a few custom fonts, actually. Some of these I don't think I've ever shown anybody. They just kind of get designed, sat on my computer, and then it's a bit of a shame, really. But with lines and arcs, you can actually get quite far. Okay, right. We don't want that to scale. So, okay, I think I've got an idea for a font. Let's bring that down. And we'll go for a nice round number. Last logo I did for myself, I used a Bodoni style font. Okay. I quite like the aesthetic of vintage sci fi, like 2001 uh, Space Odyssey. Okay. Let's throw this in the old Google and see what comes back. Just a bit of loose inspiration. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got you. Okay. Yeah, so maybe something like that with a bit, bit, of, bit of quirk, perhaps. Mm, okay. Hmm. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. I was going to do something different then, but let's... Let's... Uh, Let's go with that. I'm going to bring this down. So I typically like to construct my fonts out of pieces like this because the thing is, as I create more of the letters, I can reuse a lot of pieces. So the whole thing does become quicker. Ah, oh, yeah, maybe this is a good way to go, actually. I think we could do something really interesting with a circle. Right. Yeah, so I've just kind of got this. This is what I'm looking at for anyone watching. I don't know if that's what you meant, Quinton. Something like this. It's pretty straightforward, but if we create it from scratch, we can um, we can definitely quirk it up a bit. Right. In fact, I think I've got my own font like this. Let's try <laughs> just before I go and do this. I actually made my own font. It's the first font I ever launched. Dan Sands, <laughs> which is probably very similar to kind of where I would um, where I would take that, but uh, I might go uppercase. Let's go. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see where we get to with uppercase. Might look awful. We'll see what happens. Right. Here we go. Let's just try and do this nice and quick. That looks that U looks giant. I'm gonna definitely have to make that smaller. In fact <laughs> it can make my life 
considerably easier by just referencing my previous work. But rather than just using my own font that is probably very similar to what I'm going to do, let's I'll, I'll do it from scratch because then you kind of you get to see the process of how I would make something like this. So I'm just kind of doing this really quickly, and this is what it look like, looks like in outline mode. Outline mode, Command or Control Y to hop in there. So I'm just kind of using my guides very loosely. And what have we got? We've got an N as well. I want to try and mirror this same width. So rather than just doing lines from scratch, I'm going to drag those over. So like I said, I'm reusing elements where I can. I'm snapping to my guides. And then I'm just going to connect these up. It does that, which um, isn't what I want, but that could be part of the final design. One way around this that I like to use, it's pretty simple, is I just kind of... I'll block this out for now with a white block. It just kind of keeps it simple, really. And then what are we going to do here? we got that. Again, I'm going to need a line for the T. Let's line this up. So at this stage, it's more about being creative rather than kind of finessing the detail. So I'm trying, I'm trying really hard not to get too uh, obsessed with and hung up on the small details, the spacing, all the, st all the stuff that I criticize you guys for on a Tuesday. I'm trying not to get too hung up on that just because um, it, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, <laughs> try not to get too hung up on that just because at this stage I want to be really, really creative. There's no point focusing on details because you could end up wasting time on details for a design that doesn't actually end up getting used. All right, let me just catch up on the chat a moment. Thick and thin, actually. Okay, interesting. Hey, Dan, you should do that design from live review. Yes, the goblin one. That would be really, really cool. We're doing something a bit different today already, but um, that would be a fun one. Hi, Dansky. Hi, guys. What are you trying to design? Ah, we're doing, uh, we're doing a logo for Quinton, using the word Quinton. Um, he, he threw out a good suggestion, and we're going we're gonna to run with it. Vikram, hi Dan, just finished watching the webinar. Thanks for the basics, you are welcome. Oh, good point, yes, webinar. So, um, for anyone who doesn't know, or if you've just joined the stream, I've actually launched a f f free, if I could say that correctly, a free 30 minute webinar. Um, I'll throw the link in the chat here. You can sign up. And if you click on that link, you'll be able to see when the next one is playing and um, yeah, you sign up for that, name and email, and it's an introduction to Adobe Illustrator. So it's using um, a bunch of clips from my full course condensed into a 30-minute session, and it's going to give you a good introduction to the basics of Adobe Illustrator, give you a solid foundation that you can build on. Uh, so hopefully that's helpful, and if you do enjoy it and you find it useful, then there's another, basically another... 11 lots of that which makes up the full course and it will teach you everything that I know about Adobe Illustrator and um, Yeah, that's uh, That's pretty much it. And if you want to take the full course Don't forget that you can go to this link as well and get 15% off the course price So yeah, if you want to learn everything I know about Adobe Illustrator, then the masterclass is finally available. <laughs> oh, it felt so good getting that done, getting it finally finished. I've been working on that for oh, quite a long time. But it's good. It's good to actually finally download my brain into something that I can then give to people and just say, right, here's what I know about Illustrator. Now you can learn it too. It feels, uh, feels good. Anyway, right, waffling over. Back to Quinton. So that looks pretty cool. Obviously the uh, kerning's a bit off there. We'll need to kind of bring this a bit closer together. Yeah, not too bad. Right, now this thing with the the blah, 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 the curves. So you'll see I've got these two guides top and bottom lining up the, you know, the flat edges. 
that's all fine super super on point but the circular shapes and the curves they actually have to dip a little bit below and above this line because as you can see here if I just take this as it is and I scale it so it's exactly the same so it touches the guides for some optical reason um, from a typographic point of view these shapes will look smaller than they need to uh, it's a in an optical design reason, I can't remember why, um, ask Will Patterson. I'm sure he'll give you a better answer than I can. <laughs> so what you need to do, the short answer is what you need to do is you do need to just push these kinds of shapes, these curves, just push them a little bit beyond those guides. And what it will do is it will make the letters all look the correct size so they feel balanced. Otherwise, if you snap it to the guides, your Q's and your O's and that sort of thing, they're going to feel a little bit too small. So have I centered that top and bottom? More or less. And rather than just do that on the other Q, I'm just going to, I'm going to, sorry, not the other Q, the O, I'm just going to copy this over. And then what do we got here? I can actually just select all of these. Let's just move those up select the one that's correct and I can actually align that to the bottom so now that is on the same uh, line just just underneath the baseline and then I'm just going to connect those up as well and if I were going to go and do an entire font like a whole alphabet I would keep this fully editable I would do my ABC all the way through to Z and I would keep this as pieces for now just because I can then create new letters from it and everything is fully editable. Semma, hello. They usually they usually use the letter Q with a magnifying glass and make a logo. Anyone think of any difference to the letter Q? Right, how how are we going to quirk this up? And this is where this is this is where it gets really really fun. Hopefully, <laughs> I'll try and make it as fun as interesting as possible. Right, so we've got we've got standard Quinton over here. This is Quinton Mark One, and now we've got to try and quirk this up. So if you have any ideas how to make this quote quirky <laughs> and a little bit odd, as per real Quinton in the chat, then. Um, Go for it. So what would I do? Quinton did mention about thick and thin. So I don't know, maybe there's scope to make some parts thicker and other parts thinner. Would that look a bit weird? Yeah, that could be, that could be definitely considered quirky. We could play around with angles. Um, with a Q, we could cut away a piece. It's not really quirky though, but we could we could do something like this with the Q on one side. We could hop it to the other side, or we could just have it on both sides. That's probably going to be one of the really f the most fun letters to to play around with. <laughs> Even something like that, I'd say that's a that's a quirky Q right there. So what we could do is we could chop up, chop bits out of letters. I don't have a lot to work with here though. It's kind of you know, I can't really, I suppose I could try and chop a bit out of the eye, but then it would make it look like lowercase. Um, we could chop a little bit out of the T. Yeah, that could be quirky, I suppose. Could we chop some out of the N? Let's try and just drag that up and then copy that over. We have to be consistent with the other N as well. We can't just favor one N over another. Is that a bit much? Yeah, I'm not really feeling that. That kind of looks cool. I don't know if that's really quirky enough. Maybe a lowercase q. Come on, Poppy, we're going with uppercase. <laughs> we're doing uppercase here. Although we could put a lowercase q with uppercase letters. Um, designers, I don't know how you feel about that. But uh, q almost looks like a watch face. A Sarah, Sarah says a sundial. What is the logo for? What kind of company? Oh, it's for Quinton. <laughs> that's just that's it straight up. This is a this is a logo without a brief. 
apart from um, a like of sci-fi and something called Space Odyssey. Sans serif, a bit quirky. That's what we're working with here. So um, no company per se, but we're trying to incorporate bits of a personality. That became a G. Would you say that's a G? Oh, I suppose if you rotate it round, you could say it's a G, but we'll leave it at that angle there. I could actually shorten this a bit. So I'm kind of holding shift here just to shorten that. That probably does help a little bit. We could shorten it at either end. So if I select the direct selection tool and grab both those anchor points at the end, with them selected, I can use the scale tool. Obviously, we don't want to do that. Hold down shift. And that's a good way to lengthen or shorten uh, parts of a letter from both ends at the same time. I do quite like that cue. I know I'm biased because I did it. So it's kind of like, all right, Dan, come on. But I do quite like that. Maybe you could make the line of the cue vertical and in the center. Yeah, we could do. Let's try that. Um, so rotate that round. Not really in the center, is it, Dan? Uh, that's kind of cool, and that does feel a little bit sci-fi to me. I'm not entirely sure why, but it just does. It's probably triggering an old memory or something. I feel like that's been done before with a font, but yeah, that is one, one idea. When chopping bits away, the cue begins to look like the symbol on power switches. It does. It absolutely does. You have a tough name, my friend, says the guy who most people in the US pants out my name. Reese. Reese. Is it Reese or Rice? I, <laughs> you come to every stream now, so I feel like I need to know how to pronounce your name correctly. Please tell me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Reese. Okay. Okay, good. I'm good. Whew. That would have been awkward. <laughs> Try making the line flat and running along the bottom. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Right. Let's give that a go then. Down we go. Another copy down here. So, something like this. Hey, mm, this is kind of cool. Yeah, we could play around with that. That could be one option. And we can still do that kind of cutaway technique. Ooh, interesting. Quinton by Prince Machiavelli. <laughs> Quinton. No, it's... <laughs> Come on, Sarah. <laughs> right, we're changing your name. You're now known as Quinton, okay? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, that doesn't work with a client. <laughs> I'm just going to... I'm just going to change your brand name. Hope that's okay. The brief is to find a queue that looks amazing. Yes, you did say that you haven't seen a nice queue. I just see a G now. Poppy, haven't you Haven't you got things to do, Poppy? Haven't you got my children to go and raise? <laughs> Quirky could be expressed by reflect... I'm going to get so much abuse when I get home. Quirky could be ref expressed by reflecting some letters, but keeping it readable. Quirky equals unexpected, unpredictable. I always feel like Q is an afterthought in type designs fonts. That's like an on switch. Okay. But is it a bad thing that it's an on switch? Taggy Designs says, I quite like that. It actually worked. I like the flat line on the bottom. Okay. So maybe, maybe we go that route. Let's get my guides back. Boom. On off switch gone. Let's bring this one in here. Right. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Good job. And we could still do more to that. That doesn't need to be the end. We can still play around with that. It's all in one line at the moment as well. Um, so I wonder if there's a really clever way we could stack things up. Hmm. If we could get something to line up perfectly, that would be a nice little gem. We've got two ends there. That could could be kind of cool, maybe. Right aligned, which is a little bit different. Um, 
nothing's colliding per se so I think uh, I think I might just pop a copy of that over here I'm gonna keep that in my back pocket just in case Because that could look kind of cool. And then maybe I could even do something with these. Kind of line these up. <laughs> Not like that. But I could, there's potential there. There is definitely potential to do something. I'm just not entirely sure what yet. Get no dinner for you. <laughs> hey, hey, I was just kidding. I was just kidding. <laughs> Don't worry about the kids. I'm sure they're fine. What about a circle like the moon orbiting the Earth? The moon orbiting the Earth. Moon. Or something like this. That's definitely different. Um, it's like a bit of a bubble font, isn't it? The Q sort of reminds me of the Alpha Omega symbols. Q, the line of the letter T, can combine with the letter T and a gradient color transition. Yes, that has potential. Hmm. Yeah, but how do I translate that bubbliness onto the other letters? That's going to be my my next quandary. Let's have a go. All right, no, hang on, Dan. Before we before we judge, before we prejudge, let's throw it in there and see how it looks. Because you know, it might work. It might work. Shrinky dinky down. There we go. Badoosh. I mean, that's definitely quirky, but are, are we seeing that as a Q? Are we reading that as Quinton, or just two two O's next to each other, like Winton? I don't know. It's definitely quirky though, but it doesn't it doesn't give me much scope to work that into the other letters. I don't think. Make a little circle more to make it look like a Q. Oh, so maybe smaller. Oh, maybe something like this. No, I think it needs to definitely kind of... It needs to bridge that line just a little bit. Phil says, some people might be confused that it is an O. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I feel like the other letters help us naturally see it's a Q. Smaller O could be a semicircle or a crescent. Smaller O could be a semicircle. Or a crescent. I see what you're saying. That is a that is a damn fine suggestion, sir. Okay. Oh wait, no, no, no. I know how to do this. We'll do a path offset. What what are we working with? Sixteen, so we'll double that, thirty-two. Actually no, maybe not. That's a bit too much. We'll go for twenty-four. There we go. And then if I get my scissor tool, make some cuts, get rid of that. Hey, there we go. We've got something like this. 
Is that what you meant a lock? Something like that? Let's just trim it down a bit more. What about a Q with a squiggle below it, like Quantum of Solace? Let's refresh my memory. Quantum of Solace, uh -huh, maybe, yeah. Oh yeah, that's interesting. That is a sans serif font with a uh, with a, just a random squiggly squirrel. Dutchy, welcome. We will see it's Quinton because we know it started out that way. <laughs> yeah, that's. I think the very first one was great. Says Greg. Was that the um, the one with the line, or this one? Yeah, I kind of like that one as well. A few people thought it would look like a power button, but I don't... Is that a bad thing? What about... What about... Hmm... We could actually have that sort of drop down a bit as well. Kind of playing off what Dan said. Oh, maybe. Instead of instead of drawing that with the pen tool, though, I'm gonna I'm gonna take my own advice and we'll. Uh... Oh, what about that? What do we think to that one? Or maybe maybe the curve is just a bit too much. But maybe if I make a cut, dead on halfway, something like that. Oh, now we're on to something. Okay, right. Okay, cool. Quinton Elect Electrician's Company with the power button one. Okay, right, Quinton, you're an electrician now. <laughs> okay, right. So we're, we're on to a good letter Q, and that is something that Quinton mentioned at the beginning. So I like this. It's kind of a, it's a, it's a fun, this is how I work. It's kind of like a process of elimination. So I think I'm going to make a cut, kind of um, ah, just a little bit torn. I'm exactly. The kind of angle I want to go with. So I'm just going to play around with a few more. I think I've got a general, a general sort of feeling of where we're potentially going with it. So let's just get some more curves and uh, we'll have a little play. There's another one, could potentially work. Yeah, I quite like that one as well, actually. Hmm. Feels a bit more quirky. Quinton's a luxury clothing brand now. Okay, right, Quinton. <laughs> you're a luxury clothing brand, but you're also an electrician. You kind of do the um, electrician stuff on the side. Reese says, I like the cut with a corner aligned with the I and N bottom. I like the cut with a corner... Not sure I understand what you mean, mate. I think I'm being a bit dense. I like I like the cut where the corner aligned with the I and N bottom. On the bend you had coming down. Oh, I see what you mean. I'm with I'm with you. I've caught up now. 
Yeah, was that, uh, oh, has it gone? <laughs> I got rid of it now. Is it, was that the straight, straight line one that was just kind of dead in line with these two, yeah? Ken, what's up? First time here. Thanks for teaching AI. You are welcome. I am happy to teach everything I know. This logo makes me think premium or expensive. Lol. <laughs> Lol. Ele clothing, clothing brand electricians aren't cheap, eh? I studied electrical engineering before realizing I wanted to be a designer. Oh, did you? <laughs> what a strange coincidence. Okay. Huh. Not a fan of the Q accent going lower than the rest of the text. It had a 45 degree ish bend, but you got rid of it. Oh, God. What's he done? Dan's got rid of it. 45 degree bend. Hmm. <laughs> You're not not referring to the, the one that was um flat. Have I oh no, I've gotten rid of it now, haven't I? And I've I'm I, I thought you meant this one, Reese. Was that a different one? Yeah, it was longer. Oh, okay. Oh, right, I'm with you. That was the first one I did, wasn't it? Something a bit like that. Kind of tucks in under the U. Dansky's brain malfunctioning. Mate, it happens a lot. <laughs> but the top corner of that bend was almost in line with the bottom edge of all the text. Hmm. Can I see your stroke size? Uh, 16 point. No, the second one down, I think, with the full word. Second one down. With the full word. That works. It's a bit longer than the original, but don't let me hang up the process. Keep going. What is the logo? The logo is about Quinton. Uh, right, so it was, it was something along the lines of this, but um, slight variation. Yeah, we could play around with that. Let's try and drag out another one. Something like that, maybe. Oh, I see what you mean, 45. Right, hang on. Hang on, 4 to 5 degrees. Okay. Do, do, do. Is that kind of more what you meant, Reese? This one here? Oh, Dan. <laughs> Look, it's been a long week, all right? It's been emotional, okay? Look, I ate too much fried chicken yesterday. So I've clearly got fried chicken on the brain. So you, you guys, you're going to have to be patient with me. <laughs> Kai, I like the one. Sorry, that probably like blew out your ears on the mic. Then I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I like the one off screen to the left. This one up here. Yeah, I like that one as well. How you're just excited to see me. I know this does happen. 
This does happen. When the regulars join the stream, I do le legit get a bit excited. I just need to remember not to scream into the microphone with excitement. <laughs> Maybe line them up and number them. Yeah, I think, okay, right. I think we need we need to have a vote, a queue vote. So let's just grab a few. Grab a few. And we'll, we'll, we'll try and gauge what the general consensus is. But if you, the deal is if you can't all agree, like generally, if there isn't a clear winner, then I get to pick the queue, okay? That's the deal. Right, boom, let's go number one. And then we've got two and three. So one, two, and three in the chat. What are you feeling out of these three? Sushi Dushi, hello, welcome. Tail, okay, tail starts from the queue and underlines the Winton. Yeah, possibly. Oh, we've got ones and three. Okay, so one or three, that's good. That's something. Do I have to count these? I should probably... That's a difficult one. <sighs> ones and threes. Oh, am I going to have to count them? I, Quinton says, I trust your judgment. Oh, thanks, mate. I appreciate that. Okay. one idea that popped into my head suddenly I know it is not what anyone voted for but I'm just going to put that I'm just going to put that there because someone said about underlining the queue I'm not entirely sold on that but dear designer hey Dan what's up bro not much I'm good man how are you thank you for joining <laughs> pick two to <laughs> pick two to piss people off. No, come on, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> uh. Okay, um, right. I think we do probably need to we do probably need to work on the other letters. Oh, it's a difficult one. It's trying to introduce. I think the Q is going to be the easier one to make quirky because we've got the kind of this sort of accent line that we can um, do something with. The other letters are going to be a lot harder to introduce a bit of quirkiness. Unless we rotate them all. I don't know if there is a voting feature in YouTube. Start a poll. Oh, no, there is. We can do a poll. I'm such a, such a noob. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I think I think we've got a pretty Oh, Poppy, have you counted them? All right, Poppy counted them. So three did win. Okay, right. Well, we'll try. We'll, we'll, we'll honor. We'll honor the chat, and we'll go with three, uh, which is great because I can just throw that back in here. I mean, this is the kind of thing when I get when I get stuck into this, I could literally spend all day on this, and then my kids will be like, "Mummy." Why hasn't Daddy come home yet? <laughs> so you know, just uh, so I can continue to be a parent and not have to endure the sad faces of my children when I come home late. Let's continue. 
So we've got a queue. I think we've got a queue. There's so much we could do with this. We could play around with this for hours, but I think we need to work on the other letters. And I think because I've gone with uppercase, I think I've probably made it a little bit harder. And I think I might even go, I might even switch back to lowercase, you know. I think I'll, I'll be able to introduce a bit more personality that way. Don't know why. Something, something in deep inside is saying to me, go to, switch to lowercase. That might be myself leading myself astray, but we will see. And you see what I mean? It's great because once you've like once you've got some pieces for this sort of type of um, sans serif font, you really can just um, just sort of you know take the pieces and rearrange them to make different letters. It is fantastic. Okay, Quinton. Yeah, I think we've got a we've got we've got a bit more potential for some fun there. I think. And I do like the way this kind of dips down next to the U. That does look quite nice. The way the U kind of cuts in, it kind of it leaves a little bit of space for a, a bit of a dip. T could use the same curve. It's just the right amount of quirkiness. Yeah, we're kind of sort of quirky sci-fi without going a little bit too over the top. Uh, that bit, that's coming higher, that's good. In fact, I'm going to introduce an X height as well. So let's define an X height for this. So for anyone uh, new to typography, uh, we've got the baseline, which is this bottom part. We've got the cap height here. And we've got the X height. So all these ones with a curve, they're going to go same principle as before, they're going to bend just beyond the uh, that X height line to be technically typographically correct. Now let's snap those to the bottom as well. There we go. And that's nice and clean. Kerning is uh, all over the place, but phew, that's an easy fix. It's pretty pretty straightforward to, to sort that out. It's always good to zoom out. If you're not sure about your kerning, that's the spacing between pairs of letters, zoom out really, really far. It makes it a lot easier to kind of judge, gauge that distance for some reason. So I'm just kind of adjusting that spacing. Sometimes you get letters that look, look as if they're trying to run away from other letters. Okay, so that's cool. That's Quinton. Um, but I think we've got a bit more to work with now. So let's get a few. Let's try and get a, a bit more of this sort of flick integrated. Try and just get a bit more personality into the other letters. So we could drop in an I as well. The I could be a flick. So let's just try that. Flippity flop that one round. Not sure about that, maybe. It's quirky. And it kind of flows with the direction of the, uh, the letter N, maybe. I don't know, maybe I'm reaching there. T, what are we gonna do with the T? Do we keep it central or? off to one side perhaps or do we, do we, do we have that going in a flick direction as well <laughs> the T flicking up I don't, maybe I don't know let's try it let's give the T a flick flickety flick I mean you can't deny that is you can't say that's not quirky definitely is a question popped in my mind, how do you deal with creative 
block Dansky. Um, I think with creative block, do do something else. Um, obviously, when you're working on projects and you've got deadlines, I don't think you can just go and do something else. Like, oh, all right, boss, I'm just going to nip out for two hours and meditate on a, on a hill somewhere. You can't really do that. But I think the important thing when you've got creative block is to keep trying different ideas. Even if it's not going to work, just keep trying. Because sometimes you might think something's not going to work and it actually ends up looking pretty cool. Like a, like if you're on, um, let's, let's say you're doing a, a poster design. I need, I need much more artboard space here. Let's make that bigger. Like let's say you... Ooh. Let's say you're doing a poster design, right? There's your poster design, and you've got uh, a photo. And you're like, okay, I could do this. And then there's my image. Eh, that's a bit boring. Okay, well, let's make the image full width. Oh, yeah, I've done that before. Okay, let's try and play with angles and have the image contained in this type of shape here. Okay, yeah, maybe. Um, Let's try a circle. Boom, we'll put the image in there. Let's try... a different one. We'll use a semicircle for the... to mask off the image. Oops. I'm trying to use keyboard shortcuts here. And we'll put the image in a semicircle. Okay, that's... okay, I've done that before. Let's try something even more creative. Let's um, let's have the image here, and then we'll go and add a warp effect. And we'll kind of add a, a bulge, and then we'll contain the image in this kind of sort of showreel presentation style. So just keep trying different ideas. Like so you might have multiple images. So okay, you've got multiple images. We'll just have these. Like you know, like a picture in picture, or you could then bring this one down central, or you could have one there, and you could have one up here. So, a little bit of a tangent there, but just if you're working on a design and you're like if it's graphic design, posters, leaflets, flyers, that kind of thing. Um, it's good to just have like a reference of different potential shapes and containers that you can put things in. Because I know what you mean sometimes. You'll kind of, you'll you'll exhaust all of your creative energy and then it'll be like, oh, okay, now I need to think of something new and different and exciting. And sometimes you don't. Sometimes you just, you know, simple, keep it simple is actually the, the way to go. It's not always just about being creative for the sake of it, but sometimes it's just good to have, I mean, I've done five five or six just here off the cuff. You know, you could easily do 20 or 30 of these and just pin that up next to your desk as potential ideas. There's so many different ways that you can use shapes, basic shapes with a few effects to uh, create containers for images. But the same works for text as well. So you could have the text in a warp effect here. You could have a title for this. Say it's a poster design. You could have the logo, the logo design in a circle. So boom, the logo goes. The logo goes there, and then you could have your title there, or you could move the title up there, or move the thing up, the, the logo up there. Put the title here, or have the title here. So I think if you are experiencing creative block. Um, I would I would try and have some references around whether it's inspiration or just like pr forget inspiration even just practical ideas of things you can try so you can keep keep going and keep generating ideas. Um, I think it's the kind of thing that does get easier the more you do it. I don't really struggle with I don't really struggle with creative block in the same way that I did when I first started my career. But nowadays, I think I'm probably very fortunate in, in what I do. I don't really do client stuff. And if I am working with a brand, for example, um, on something, I can afford to just take a break from it for a few hours and do something different, go outdoors, um, whatever, and then come back to it with a fresh kind of mind. 
because you'll be amazed how how much that can suddenly bring ideas into your head anyway that was a very long waffly answer but hopefully that was uh, a little bit helpful poppy says quinton is now a priest oh my goodness what have i missed <laughs> looks like a church a t cross not mad about the t use the flick from the q in the t the cross became the focal, focal point somehow or just one half one half of the top of the t connect it with the u i like the direction now Tansky doesn't get creative block for Carla. Creative block gets Tansky. <laughs> nice, Greg. I like it. <laughs> yeah, maybe we can try this flick. Let's see if we can do something with this. Oh, maybe that's a bit better. And I don't know, maybe there is a little bit of a nice consistency then. It, it feels like the T is waving. It literally feels like somebody waving. Connect it with the U. Hmm. I mean, I don't. I just, this is something that I just noticed. I don't know if <laughs> it's going to look a bit, uh, a bit odd. There might be, there might be a design there. I'll try it. We'll see what happens. Again, I can just reuse parts I've already created, so we'll just grab... Oop, not that. Where are we? Two of these arcs. And we'll just snap them together. They should all snap quite nicely. Boom. There we go. I might have to adjust the kerning a bit there. I might be verging on over designing a little bit, um, but it's a, it, they connect together nicely. So I feel like this one is probably a bit more practical. That's the T. Yeah, I think so. Quinton has changed his name to Gerard. Oh, we're going to have to start again now. <laughs> Phil says, maybe make the horizontal stem of the T to be a half and circle going downwards, touching the O and the U. Okay, well, let's, let's get rid of this design. Touching the O. Oh, I see what you mean. Let's try something. So we'll wait. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Okay, right. So I think we've got a really, I think we we're onto something here. I think that's cool. We're going to save that. I'm just creating copies. You can see this is kind of where we've gone around. And when I'm doing this, it, it kind of, um, it just takes a mind of its own. It goes in any sort of direction. Oh, what about? There's another way of doing it. I I think we're going to struggle to beat that top T at the top. It's really got some personality as if it's literally somebody waving. And considering this brand is about Quinton as a person, I think we're going to struggle to beat that. There's probably a few ways we could connect them together in, in an interesting way. <laughs> Q 
connect to the first n. Yeah, there's actually lowercase, there's quite a few interesting ways that certain characters can connect. So this was fun. Uh, I think I'm still I'm still feeling the um, the curve on the T. And this is something that I'm kind of always saying on a on a design review is that if you can reuse certain elements from your design, it just it kind of makes it more consistent in a very subtle way. So you can see the ends, the uh, U, they're all consistent. The curves on all the letters are drawn, they're consistent. And even this little flickety flick here that I need to know, learn the name of what that is, um, that has been reused here. So we're kind of, rather than recreating assets, it's also just going to make everything feel a bit more consistent. But from a technical point of view, it mitigates the chance that we're going to have inconsistencies in the design. So we're not going to have two different curves that some ginger is going to pick up on and go, oh, you need to keep those the same. You know, we're reusing assets. So everything is just going to end up more consistent anyway, which is going to improve the quality. Looks a bit like a sword. Q and T could be connected from the top and bottom at the same side. Q and T could be connected. Let's just try something. This this might look awful, but bear with me. I mean, it's giving me electrician vibes. Just going to put that out there. Wiring. <laughs> Less of a Q now. I'm seeing it more as an O, and I'm definitely not seeing the I. So if I showed that to somebody, it'd be like, eh, what does that say? Uyenton. <laughs> Quite a good impression of yourself. Hey, we do. I, I do what I can, Kai. I do what I can. Looks like a big S. Have the tea as a windmill. Quinton the bread maker. Poppy, what are you on about? Are you smoking something? Have you gone a bit funny? <laughs> or a cowboy hat? Abdul says, can you guide me how I can get better at Photoshop or Illustrator if I'm a beginner? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Which segues me nicely into if you'd like to learn Adobe Illustrator with a free 30 minute webinar, if you've just joined, here's the link, sign up for the webinar. I think the next one, the next one I think is nine o'clock tonight, UK time, and that's what, four or four or so hours away. That will be 30 minutes of learning Adobe Illustrator from pretty much the big the beginning. And it will give you a solid foundation that you can then build upon. So yeah, free webinar. And um, if you want to learn everything I know about Illustrator, then I will throw, where is it? I'll throw a link to my full course. This will teach you everything I know in approximately six hours. That's my go-to phrase when presenting to concerned clients. It's wiring. <laughs> it almost visually looks like the U and N is off balance because of that S. Yeah, I mean, this was just a bit of fun, really. Let's not take that too seriously. You know, I think at this point, Quinton is a luxury clothing brand, uh, an electrician, a priest, and runs a windmill or something, according to Poppy anyway. But I don't know what Poppy's what Poppy's on today. I think Poppy's on a Poppy's having a funny a funny funny Friday today. The course. <laughs> the course is brilliant. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. It, like I said earlier, it feels good to just download everything I know about Illustrator into a course that I can then, you know, give to people and say, hey, do this and you'll, lo you'll know exactly what I know. Um, yeah, it feels really good to, to have got that done. Okay, um, right. So this is another thing that we, we come up against on design review is I sometimes talk about over designing. Do we leave this there? Because I really like that as it is. And we could do some more to that. We could quirkify that font considerably more for sure. 
but just because we can doesn't necessarily mean we should so like what do you guys think like personally i'm really liking where we've landed with this the t and the q adds a bit of personality it's sans serif it's um it's and i think quinton likes the q i think so you know i think we've landed in a pretty good spot a luxury a luxury electric company Dan, please, can you put a hat on the T? What? What? <laughs> there we go. A little bowler hat. We even do a little red. We'll do a little little bow, a little thing around it, and um, we'll do a feather as well. There we go. Are you happy now, Poppy? Are you happy now? I like it as it is at the moment. Right, well, I like it too. And I think um, I think we've all arrived at a very, very good place. So thank you to everyone for contributing to this. As always, it feels like a team effort. But now we need some color. We're going to wrap this up with a bit of color. So Quinton, any color, preferences on color, favorite colors? One color, two color, three color. Um, Let's try and make this just that extra bit quirky. We'll play around with some color and then we'll, uh, we'll wrap this one up and call it a day. Wait, what time is it? Jeez, we've been doing this one for over an hour. Oh my goodness. God. That has gone fast. Letter T goes on vacation with a hat. <laughs> one third hats. Please can we add a sidebar to the ends because they seem too rounded? Oh, that was something I was going to have a go at doing, actually. That was something I was going to try. Okay, yeah, that's a really, really good point. Thank you for mentioning that, Piccola. Uh, yes, yes, definitely, yeah. Yep, well rem remembered. I have hijacked the stream. You have. You have indeed. Three colours! Gah! Three? My goodness. This is going to be interesting. Are you going to tell me what those three colours are? Because if you are, they better be good. <laughs> if you come back with, like, purple, brown, and mauve, then I think we're going to have a, we're going to have a problem. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. Exactly. I feel like that's totally brought the design together. The little kind of flicks on the um, on the ends. I need to brush up on my typography terms. <laughs> flicks, flicks, swirls, and swooshes. That's all you need to know, really. Right. I think beige, orange, and silver, like those seventies sci-fi films with Doctor You. Okay. Beige, orange, and silver. Oh, I know. That could look pretty cool, actually. All right. Okay. I'm down for that. Let's get a bit of beige on the go. That's not beige. I don't have any beige swatches. Uh, am I in RGB? I'm going to work in RGB because they get nice, brighter, punchier colors. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is going to look good. Right. Um... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep all of these letters fully editable. Um, that's what the wireframe looks like. The great thing about this is actually I can actually still change the thickness or the the thickness or the thickness of this. So I can actually play around with this. I could make it super chunk, which we are, you know we've not actually we've not even talked about that. Put the beige on hold. The beige is on hold, Dan. We need to talk about the chunkiness of the letters because this is all fully editable so I can actually thicken that up and I'm going to say that adds a I think that adds a little bit more character to it thick or thin what are we thinking <laughs> can you make some stunning background images oh, I can indeed but not right now that's quite the ask <laughs> 
I do have a tutorial though on making really really cool background images. Um, it's super easy. Let me just find it. Uh, it's a really really cool video. It's um, I mean obviously I, I know that's me saying that about my own video. Yeah, check this one out. This one's if you want to make just abstract backgrounds really easily. That's a cool um, cool one to watch. Love from Pakistan. Oh, thank you. Love from the UK. He used to make the biggest deal of pronouncing the term ascender. Thick, 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 double C, thick, bruh. Chunkiness look nice, right? Chunkiness it is. Oh, nearly forgot a bit of chunk. All right, let's just, uh, I'm just going to drop that down to 22, just so I get a little bit more definition here on that little knobbly bit. I don't want it to be too close. So yeah, we'll still keep the chunkiness. Spacing, I might just push that apart a little bit. So let's ungroup it. We'll go to three. So I'm just gonna tap on the arrow keys. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. It just spaces them apart a little bit. That is cool. That is looking pretty cool. Right, back to beige. Okay. Back to the beige. Let's group it together. Orange and silver. Okie dokie. Well, this will be interesting. Silver. Hmm. Yeah, silver's going to be an interesting one. Do I go with a light background or a dark background? Hmm. Probably going to go for a slightly, it's a little bit off beige, but it's kind of like a grey beige. And I think I might, I might put some emphasis on the Q. We did so much work on the Q. I feel like, I feel like the Q needs to be, needs to be celebrated. As this incredible letter. There we go. And I suppose that could work as an app icon or something then as well. Um, yeah, we'll try another one. We'll try something slightly different. Select the O. We're just going to eyedropper. I drop a droppy those colors. Orange, orange, just have that as like an accent color. Hmm. This would work. Not sure about that. I watched the background images tutorial. I just need more like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, thanks for watching it. Do you have Fiverr freelancing experience? No, but I did do work for many years on something called People Per Hour. Helped me build up my clients before um, going full-time freelance. Back to beige, beigeics. Taggy, taggy, come on. <laughs> Let's not go to Pun City. <laughs> but the font turned out to be quite flexible with the thickness variation, great work. Yeah, it's always good if you can keep it editable it's really, really good, especially if you are designing your own font. Um, if you are designing a font, by the way, and you want to make it into a real working font, this is the add-on that you want. 
okay it's amazing it's absolutely brilliant i'm not paid to say that or anything um not that i could be paid to say anything anyway that is the one to go for uh you know it's, it's absolutely brilliant and it makes it super easy to turn all the these letters we're designing here into real fonts um but the good thing about keeping everything like this fully editable is that if i wanted to go and make like a light version or a heavy version of that font you can change the widths really quickly and easily so generally as a kind of a guide it's good to try and keep things editable where you can I just wanted to take a moment to say a huge thank you to Dunsky for being the guiding light in my graphing design journey. Ah, oh, Ben, that means a lot. Thank you so much. I started learning from your channel at the age of 14, and today I'm a proud UI UX designer. Oh, man. It's comments like that that make it all worth it. That That's amazing. I'm, I, uh, yeah. I'm kind of speechless. That's, that's amazing. That's really cool. Thank you for, thank you for sharing that. Hmm. <laughs> so cool. The logo looks very simple and elegant. Yeah, I think we've uh, we've all arrived at a pretty good place. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you, Ben. I appreciate that. That means a lot. What is the font maker called? Font self. I love it. It's looking so good. Yeah, I'm not not sure about the colour yet. Uh, I mean, I, we'll move on to another logo soon, just because uh, it'd be good to try and get another one in today. But I could play around with the colours all day, to be honest. I will just try another one with the... Um, maybe let's flip the colours around. We'll go with a... It's not quite silver. But we'll, we'll try a different version. Mm. Orange. Oh, that's not orange. I like that darker background. Yeah, like normally we would. I mean, obviously this isn't really for a client. It's for uh, it's for Quinton. But typically, it's it's good to design like this. Um, but uh, of course, you'd want to mock it up and see how it looks actually on a thing. So, like, let's just I don't know. Let's say Quinton has an app, or maybe Quinton is an app. I don't know. <laughs> but let's just kind of let's get a little uh, a little a little look at how it might look as an app icon so you know you could have something like this so it's these kinds of things that uh, definitely need to be considered as well Whoop. There we go. App icon done. Do 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 do. But um, yeah. Let's do it back on white. Yeah, I feel like something like this with the orange. It'd be good to get the orange into certain elements. I'd like to get it into those those little flickety flick bits because it's like a bit of personality as well. But like I said, I could spend all day playing around with this. I might I might play around with this a bit more. Uh, off camera as well. Uh, what 
about this one? What about if I rotate that? Yeah, that's kind of cool. We're just using a little bit more of the queue to kind of get that in there. Yeah, like I said, I could play around with this all day. Um, but um, and Quinton, if you want me to, um, I'll, I'll email you this file uh, either later on or over the weekend. I'll send you this file if you want to kind of play around with it and. Um, you know change the colors and things but uh, as as is with many good logos you know it's always good to just have that version on black and white so i think it's fair to say that that uh, definitely does stand out it does work it would work on a website we got the app icon as well boom let's just flip this around light dark oh well this has been a lot of fun and we are going to do another one because I'm having so much fun sorry kids <laughs> yeah that was cool and and the great thing about this is that uh, apart from the fact it was a really cool and fun team effort is that we did all that from scratch so if you have been following the stream hopefully this will give you um, an insight into how I go about creating something like a, a sans serif font and if you haven't tried this before um, hopefully it'll encourage you to have a go yourself and if you want to make it a real font then um, then you, you can do that with font self as well which is what I've used to make my own fonts oh hey Arif welcome your master course is a game changer oh that's amazing thank you so much I really appreciate that and I will just I'll throw another link in so if anyone does want to learn everything I know about Adobe Illustrator there's a link to check out the course. That is everything I know. And if you would like, uh, where is it? If you like 15% off, then sign up here and you will get a code for that as well. Could you send it to me to play with too, Dansky? Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. I'll try and do that later, but if I don't do it later, I'll do it. I'll do it this weekend. Um, in and around kids and things right okay and it, it's always fun zooming out as well because this is the kind of pro you can kind of see the process we've got on got, got on gone on we started playing with fonts and then Leela said why don't you just why don't you just make your own font Dan come on you call yourself a designer I was like okay all right okay challenge accepted we played around with a bunch of cues we did a vote one two three three was the winner and um, then we got creative with the letter T. We, uh, we, 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 don't, we, don't, we don't need to really talk about that. The electrical wiring or some such. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we ended up where we were. And that's, that's a pretty quick one, actually. You know, if you've joined any of the streams previously, they can be pretty extensive, these boards of ideas, and they can go off in different directions. But I feel like that was, um, yeah, that was pretty focused today. Right, um, let's do another one. Uh, I'm not entirely sure the, about the best way to pick someone's name. I think before we did we did it with emojis and being quick. So uh, I'm open to ideas. <laughs> Kai says you can just pick me that's fine okay sure great fantastic great idea love it <laughs> let's keep this let's keep it nice and simple <laughs> Kai right Kai also your name's a little bit shorter so it makes uh, my job easier as well Kai fantastic right Kai 
give me something to work with. Who are you? What, what do you do? What do you like? What kind of font? If you were a font for Kai, what would what font would you be? Just give me the goods. Give me the source. Give me something to work with, and uh, we'll see we'll see where we go with it. Why don't you pretend to have your own company and give us a brief? Yeah, we could do that. It doesn't have to be your name. It could be um, it'd be anything, really. Pretend to have your own company. i got to go. My family is starting to wonder if I've been abducted. <laughs> Amazing. Thanks for joining, Quinton. <laughs> I'm a dentist. Okay. That's interesting. Are you a dentist designer or... Are you a dentist with an interest in design? Dr. Kai or something? Huh. I wasn't expecting that. That's cool. Okay. Dr. Kai. Dentist. Right. That's interesting. Okay. Teeth. I mean, that's kind of the natural thing I go to is like a tooth. Hmm. Let's type in dentist icon. Let's see what I get back. Let's familiarize myself with the world of dentistry. Because a tooth is kind of where I initially go. But that doesn't need, mean we need to have a tooth in the logo per se. Dentist, smile. Good smile. We could, uh, we could try and pull an Amazon. <laughs> Just, uh, I mean, this, this might look kind of cool, actually. Dr. Kai, thicken it up and then we'll, um, Round off those corners, change the width profile. Dr. Kai. I don't know, maybe there's something in that. A smile, he designs teeth. <laughs> yes, a dentist with an interest in design. The dream would be maybe to get the side hustle of designing to get enough income that I could do part-time dentistry oh okay so so you are a dentist by trade but you're interested in doing design as well so i mean that would be quite nice actually that would be a really nice split to do like you know a bit of dentist dentistry and then do design as well i mean that would keep the day interesting wouldn't it kind of mix it up a little bit but for now the design is just a hobby okay that's cool you sound very driven. I admire that. Yes, I admire that as well. Tome, welcome. Smile for the right side of the D in Doctor. Very good. Let's get those ideas flowing. We're not going to worry about the font just now. Let's just get those raw ideas down and see uh, see where we end up. So, where is my knife tool gone? Have I got a knife tool? There you go. Slice off. Um, hmm. Could I bend that round? I've got the doctor with a smile, and I rotate that there. Don't know. I don't think I could. I don't think I could really get away with rotating the word doctor that way. The smile would be the correct way up. Tooth. Could I make a tooth look like a K? So what do we, oh, that is, that's not a tooth. That's not a tooth, right, tooth. Let's kind of draw a tooth, something like that. Could I get that into a letter somewhere? Doctor. Whoa. Kai, inside the tooth, maybe, don't know. 
that'd definitely be a bit different. And then we could have a little um little doctor here, perhaps. A little cheeky little doctor at the top there. Or maybe not. Hmm. Maybe you could make a D out of the tooth. Yeah, possibly. It's always nice if you can integrate letters and a little bit of iconography about what the company or business does because you can just you can get some really clever designs and I do like those simple yet clever designs. They're probably my favorite personally. D. And D D D D. Hey, that's not too bad. <laughs> yeah. Potentially, we could see where that goes. That looks like tooth with braces. <laughs> A sparkle to indicate shiny teeth. Geometric neat shapes to symbolize the perfect alignment. Ah, good way of thinking. Good way of thinking. I like it. Okay. Cross a sparkle. All right, nifty trick. This is how to create a sparkle in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, if I can remember this correctly, I think it's pucker and bloat. Yeah, there we go. Boom, just like that. Did you miss it? <laughs> Circle, effect, distort and transform, pucker and bloat, and then just bring it a little bit down on the pucker. And you can um, add a sparkle. Or go the other way and create a four-sided flower or something. <laughs> All those little, those little savoury crisps that I used to have as a child. If you, uh, I, I don't know if other countries have that. Do you remember those little, little crisps? They used to come in all sorts of shapes, spades and hearts and whatever this shape is. God, that's taking me back. That's going back to like the, the nineties there. Boom, the name is the braces. Ooh, okay, okay. Those sparkles are so on trend right now. A smile inside the tooth. Whoa, we got some ideas flowing. We got some ideas flowing, guys. Uh, ding. Hmm. Braces. Let's look up a braces icon. Just kind of get an idea for. Oh yeah, I did have braces back in the day. Good old uh, train tracks with the little blue elastic bands on. Okay. Although I, th I suppose braces is more of an orthodontist than a dentist. Is that fair to say? Teeth. We've got the shape of it. Let's try a smile. Smile icon. Smiley face. Hmm. Okay. I've got a few ideas. Cheesies, is that what they were called? I think illustrating a design of a child crying might do the trick. <laughs> oh, Greg, you are savage. Not all dentists are monsters you make us out to be. <laughs> My goodness, let's kick it off in the chat. <laughs> yeah okay orthodontist that is different yeah what about um right i'm gonna work with dr kai what about if we had a warp 
and we could kind of play around with a smile of some kind. Oh, it's difficult. I want to try and sort of pinch it, pinch it at the end into a smile shape. Let's let's just try something. I don't know if this is going to look good, but I'm going to try it anyway. I'm just going to sort of just quickly make a slightly terrible smile shape. And I just want to see if I can kind of uh, force the words Dr. Kai into that shape and what that does. Uh, where are we going? Where is it? Make with top object. <laughs> okay. Not that. Let's. Um, did I do that the wrong way around? Let's try again. Wow, that's uh, that. That wasn't what I was hoping for. <laughs> um, okay, let's try. I don't know why it's doing that. Normally, it would kind of fit that to it would take that and fit it to the uh, to the shape. Yeah, it's it's probably a little bit sharp, isn't it? Good shout. Let's try and round that off slightly. See if that um, see if that does the trick. There we go. Good job. Good job. Mm, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't use this for the design. It was really just to see because it distorts the letters using this technique quite a lot. Just really to see if I could if I could get this into a smile shape. And then uh, draw like a mouth around here and then kind of have the the smile on either end, you know. It's <laughs> bloody awful. Hmm. Dr. Kai. Dr. Kai, Dr. Kai, Dr. Kai. Okay, let's try and get I think someone said earlier about symmetry. So I think you're right. We need some we need some symmetry here. We need this to look precise and detailed. So let's um oops. Let's draw that down. So let's hop into where are you? Mirror. There we go. And I don't normally freehand like this, which is probably a good reason why I'm doing it. Because um, it's good. It's good to practice stuff like this. So like I did earlier in the logo design, um, I, you know, I use basic shapes quite a lot. And that's fine. But sometimes it is good to draw these more organic shapes. And for anyone who want, is wondering, I'm just using the pencil tool to redraw these paths and just redrawing them over and over until I get them looking kind of how I want. So I've got a pretty much a tooth shape there and then let's expand that and this should still be a path now yeah that's cool and 
let's connect those together. Boom. So they now meet. We'll join the path. And I'm kind of I'm gonna have actually no. No, I don't want them to join. I'm gonna have this one kind of come down. So I'm trying to draw a nice tooth. And it it wants to connect that. I don't want it to, so I'm just gonna draw it like that and pull it into shape. These two here, what is going on? what's going on here? Hello, hello. Um let's trim those off with the shape builder tool, connect to this one, and then just pull these down a little bit. Whoa, hey, where are we off to? Steady on. Yeah, this is looking all right, I suppose. It's the kind of thing I could easily go and finesse this forever and after. Um, forever and after? What does that even mean? I could go and finesse this for ages later on. Uh, I don't need to necessarily do it now. There we go. It's kind of a semi-acceptable tooth and we'll just round that off as well. Why have I done that? I'm not entirely sure why I've done that actually. <laughs> KP Dentistry. Yeah, I, I think it, it, it's fun to do. Uh, yeah, I hmm, I think it's fun to do something like this and try and combine your uh, your name with the, the tooth and everything. But actually, if we were to do this for Dr. Kai Dentistry, I would do something probably quite... Not corporate, but I would do something very clean, very professional. You know, I'm letting you kind of do stuff to my teeth in my mouth. It, you know, there needs to be trust there. It's got to be a, tr a lot of trust. So actually doing a fun, clever, cute, cutesy logo is probably not the way to go. So. Dentistry. I'm, I'm getting an idea come into my head. So I'm just going to run with it and see where we end up. So. I'm not entirely sure how it's going to look. Dr. Kai. We'll play around with fonts later. Uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Now we're going to go semi bold. I'm going to go with caps as well. And then possibly bump up that tracking. We'll go 300. Bring that down. And thicken up the stroke weight. I don't know how long you've been doing dentistry, so feel free to, free to um, throw that in the chat. Your years of experience or something. And we'll put like some some kind of accolade of like you know established many many years ago. Again, reinforcing the idea that you are a professional. You are to be trusted. You've been doing this a long time, which I think is probably quite important. <laughs> Let's just grab the tooth here. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not feeling it. <laughs> I'm not feeling it. <laughs> it's a boy tooth. Why not retrace a real tooth? Yeah, I could do. I think it's um, it's probably just not the route I would go down for something like this. I think actually making something look very, very... With a large case, you know, something uh, very kind of clean and professional 2021 but you can tell my patients right now I've been doing it for years <laughs> okay <laughs> established 2021 
Dr. Kai Mandio. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> That's an interesting font. Uh, work sense. Hmm. Maybe something like that. And we could add a white. Cut that out. Bring that to the front. It's something I do. Quite, I do quite like doing that personally. It's like this kind of cutout style, and then you have the the circle, and you can kind of play around with it a bit. And I could have that kind of coming up here, so it sort of continues the A. A nice little uh, little um, detail, and then we'll bring that to the front. Establish twenty one. Centrally align everything because at the moment it feels off. And you see here, this actually technically is centered, but it isn't because this Y character has some extra space on the right. So I will have to align this optically using my eyeballs just so it is actually centrally aligned. Dan says, how did you do the cutout, Dansky? It's literally just a, a white rectangle. So it's just a white rectangle. Like when I do the final design, obviously I would need to clean that up and actually cut it out of the shape. But when I'm just mocking up ideas and stuff, nice and quick, um, I will just use kind of block colors. <laughs> Danny, welcome. Good day, Dansky. Good day, chat. Haven't been here in a few weeks, just dropping in for a few minutes. Oh, amazing. Well, thank you for dropping in. Put the tooth silhouette inside of the D. This one. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not, I just, I don't think the tooth is going to kind of really work with this design. Yeah, this is probably a much more, a different design. I mean, something else we could do is we could do like a, a more abstract representation of a tooth. So what's the general, what's the basic shape of a tooth? It's that. Yeah, see, this is kind of like what I was saying earlier. Sometimes it's actually better to do sort of more organic shapes and try and do everything too clean because when everything is too clean, you can lose a little bit of that, um, whoa, a little bit of that character. 
and this might make a good icon but of course an icon and a logo are very different things Mahil says K is the tooth yeah that was one thing I think I mentioned earlier on um, Citizen F1 hi why not a smile yeah possibly it's, it's, it's trying to implement it in a way that I think is going to work could be experimented as a different idea with the D being a black fill and the tooth silhouette as a white negative space but not sure about the scalability I think they meant make the negative space of the D a tooth oh okay right I gotcha I gotcha well, let's try it let's try it what's the worst that can happen <laughs> okay so let's uh let's choppy choppy that out where's my good tooth good tooth over here swap that around Something's gone a bit funny here. Let's go into outline mode and have a little look at what's up there. Nice. Shape builder tool. Great for cleaning up paths. This one, right. So let's make a cut there. Let's try and turn this into uh, something. Something like that. Pretty cool. A little bit of negative space there, and then we'll try and shrinky dinky this down and turn this into a into a funky letter D. I mean, yeah, the first thing is it doesn't really fit the shape of the D. Ah, oh, I'm just I'm not feeling it personally. Hmm. I think we could we could turn that into I think someone else said turn it into the, the full stop. So I think we might be able to do that. But I don't think it's gonna be that representative of a full stop I think which I think it just looks a bit weird so what we could do is turn it into the dot of the eye oh it's a bit predictable it's a little bit Aye. oh yeah oh wow this is a tough one this is tough do something really abstract let's get the shape of that tooth think of a really interesting way to create I mean this looks a bit transformers let's try something a bit different going to the corner that one goes down there I don't know <laughs> it's probably a bit bonkers but it just uh, popped into my head as an idea and I kind of had to run with it Let's round off those corners to get rid of those weird bits on the edge. Yeah, I don't know. Like a, like a, I don't know, like a diamond tooth, like a sparkly diamond tooth, something a bit more abstract. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I get these ideas sometimes. They just kind of come into my head. And um, I kind of had to just sort of get it out there, really. Let's 
let's go a little bit more diamond like we'll go that there bring that over there Hmm. Yeah, this is definitely uh, definitely creative, isn't it? Something like that, and then definitely interesting. <laughs> looks like a bum great thanks poppy how 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 does that look like a bum it might look like chicken legs <laughs> diamond teeth implant yeah kai you do diamond teeth implants don't you <laughs> I mean, let's see if I can do something with this. Ho do do dentistry, Doctor Kai, ba da 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 do. Well, I mean, I think I've designed worse things, but I don't know. What, what do you think? And a big booty. Poppy. Will you calm down, please? You can't say the word booty on a live stream. You'll get me demonetized. <laughs> Phil says, very modern and crisp. Mihil says, try a shield. Hmm. Maybe make the bottom sharper. Uh, oh, what, this bit that I've made all curvy. Uh, that one... Hmm. I don't think it looks like a tooth personally. I think we know. I mean, I think obviously having the word dentistry does kind of give it some context. It's like a little frog's bottom. I think you're just being Is that Leo? Is that you, Poppy, or is that Leo? I can't tell who who's being Are you just being a bit silly? How about keeping the same idea but minimizing the lines the most possible? Yeah, that's okay. I mean, it's definitely different. It's definitely different to what we were doing before. Um, get a little, little uh, full stop in there as well. Right, okay, minimize the lines. <laughs> Fully minimized. Um, right, I'm just going to see what this looks like. Yeah, see, I, I just, I, I don't like that. I don't know, maybe you guys like that. It's, it's just a tooth for me. Do you know what I mean? It's not like... That's probably a little bit better with the kind of outline. <laughs> it looks a bit, it looks more like a mask now. Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> we don't want that. Hmm. 
dentistry. Where's me sparkle gone? Can I use a sparkle? I mean, we could use the smile. We could use the smile. Um, it's just, it might look a little bit Amazon. That's not necessarily to say it's bad. I mean, arguably, if you have a hint of Amazon in your uh, branding, what do you reckon? Like, does that feel more familiar to people because they recognize the smile? So, um, because it's more familiar to them, they might use your, your business more. I don't know. Maybe. Let's just try it. I'll give it a go. Well, um, width tool. Where's the width tool? Let's just thicken that up a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> maybe that is uh, maybe that is the way. <laughs> chunk it up. Chunk it up. With two, bom, bom, bom. Okay, there we go. Fits nicely round, around the old corner of the mouth. It looks like Amazon. It does. It does look like Amazon. Maybe that's a clever thing. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's really dumb. <laughs> hmm. I've got it. There we go. That is it. Done. Dr. Kai. And we've got some nice googly eyes. Amazing. Right. Next logo. <laughs> Google, I couldn't resist googly eyes <laughs> would you trust this person with your teeth that's funny done try geometric shape looks best might need some more definition yeah I think um, rebrand everything said that earlier something similar like um Something kind of, I feel like something clean and minimal, but kind of abstract as well. I'm not necessarily saying that this was the right way to go, but something like that that is kind of really smart and abstract feels like it could look quite cool. If you could get the curves in the right places. <laughs> I'll leave that one over there. I mean, the, the, you know, we could do the smile. I think I think adding the little googly eyes and mouth corners is probably a little bit much. But um, we could bring that down a little bit so it kind of matches the thickness of the letters a bit more. Something like that is kind of smart. Yeah, there might be a design with that somewhere. <laughs> Eyeballs in the egg and negative space of the RNA. <laughs> how to draw, draw a text children at the dentist. <laughs> yeah, I'll just change careers. It'll probably be easier. <laughs> yeah, it might be. Yeah, if you wouldn't mind, Kai. <laughs> it might be a little... <laughs> It reminds me of like the Muppets. I think I think something like this, there's definitely potential with something like this. With the smile, maybe not as much Amazon with the kind of the creases in the corner of the mouth, but I think there's definitely 
Um, there's definitely some sort of potential here for it to be quite subtle, a subtle smile, and have it not look too Amazon. So there's possibly a design there. Yeah, yeah. A lock was saying about having kind of something sort of, uh, what was it, a bit more geometric shapes look best, might need some more definition. Yeah, something geometric. If I could maybe connect, connect these with a few more curves, maybe. Yeah, something like this. Also, totally unrelated. Has anyone been playing Armored Core 6? <laughs> just completely unrelated. I know we were talking about it the other day, and I just thought I'd see if anyone's uh, having a crack. I'm going to geek out on games for a second. Yeah, get a bit more, a bit more curvature in there. Um, let's delete those ones and reconnect these up like that um, I could even try and connect this bit higgledy piggledy Looks more like a fox or something now. Um, let's see if we can get a bit more curvature there. It's probably less tooth like. Hmm. This is this is a lot more interesting than I thought it would be, actually. I mean I didn't think it'd be uninteresting, but this is um it's very easy to just think, oh yeah, teeth. Oh, teeth, that's easy. I'll just draw a tooth. We're done. Boom. No. It's uh It's not that simple. Not that simple, Ginger. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what that looks like. It looks like a tulip. Very architectonic. Keep going, you are going somewhere. I'm, I'm definitely going somewhere. I don't think anyone's disputing that. I'm just not entirely sure where. <laughs> Put an arc from the two top points for an indenten, in, um, indenta, indentation of a tooth. An arc from the top two points. Whoa. Oh, I just love all this abstract stuff. Ho, 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 yeah. Hmm. It looks like the kind of, right now, it looks like the kind of logo that I would look at if I was out and about and go, what is that? <laughs> but again either you know even though i'm kind of trying to illustrate this i think it's it's worth not forgetting how it actually factors into the bigger picture of uh, of a logo design You know, it's all very well. It's like when I did the dove before. I spent ages on that stream illustrating a dove. And by the end of it, it's like, great, that I've made a dove, but that isn't a logo. Hmm. Yeah, no, I think maybe let's go back to this one. No, just a simple arc between the top points. 
Oh, right, I see what you mean. Just like something like this. <laughs> there is something there, isn't there? We're we're getting somewhere, maybe. Let's try um let's try something using some circles. I'm not gonna go full golden ratio or any of that stuff. Sometimes using curves can be really interesting. So let's just chop out a segment here. For that left side. Yeah, that could be the top. Down here, right, let's grab another circle. I'm gonna shrink that down for the bottom part, something like that. Let's grab my semi to good tooth design. So I'm gonna try and create a cleaner version of this. This is just a tooth. But I'm gonna try and make a, a cleaner version. This might work or it'll look awful. Cool, All right, let's add a cut there with the scissor tool. Also, by the way, if you see me doing all this stuff and you're thinking, how is he doing that? I'm using a lot of keyboard shortcuts and everything. Um, and in my full Adobe Illustrator Masterclass, here is a link. I literally will explain everything. All these tools in the toolbar on the left, they will be explained how to use them, what the keyboard shortcuts are. So there's a lot of tools that I'm using that I'm just hopping between using keyboard shortcuts, direct select, um, scissor tool, uh, I'm shape builder tool, I'm joining paths. And so if you want to learn kind of how I do all of that, then there is a link to the course and um, it will teach you. Okay. And then I can curve that one. That's why I didn't bother drawing that as a curve because I can actually curve this manually like so. Yeah, this one here's a bit a bit wonky, isn't it? Make that a little bit smaller. So we might be onto something like this. Let's duplicate that over and see how it looks. Hmm. All right, so let's Get this one here, let's make that follow the lines. I'm just trying to line this up and then I can hopefully shape build a tool that piece off. This is one way that you can get perfect curves. I started to follow, amazing. Tome says also I can't help but see really bad Xbox and PS5 controllers here. <laughs> yeah, I suppose some of these shapes are a little bit, aren't they? I think the roots of the tooth has to be closer, not like the previous previous tooth, like a diamond shape. Yeah, possibly. Possibly. 
Oh my goodness, it's 20 to 6. Right, let's pick up the pace a bit. Let's pick up the pace a bit. Let's choppy that off there. Choppy, choppy. Maybe let's tilt this up. Try and connect that up loosely. I'm just trying to get the sort of the shape right, really. And scale that up. Right, now let's just try and flip that over. Before I spend too long perfecting everything, which would be a complete waste of time if this design doesn't work out, let's... Uh... Try and squish it into position. We'll average those, pull them together, join like so. Yeah, so there we go. We've got a slightly more, I guess you could say, geometrically precise uh, design. Not perfect by any means, but it doesn't need to be. And I do wonder if we could do something with that. So let's go and pop this over here. Now, could I make this? Let's set that back to as being a hard edge. I wonder if I could. Could I loop that round? <laughs> looks a bit like an umbrella now or well, something like that the dip in the center looks too deep need to have a hint of dip oh yeah the average trick's pretty cool I can like, just pull two anchor points together Yeah, I think I think this idea here. I do like that. I do like that. Um, I think it needs more work to try and kind of refine this concept because at the moment I'm just. I mean, yeah, I've created a nice, semi-nice tooth shape. We could go and add a nice little curve in there as well. And I could probably just tweak that a bit as well. Yeah, it's not too bad. Whoa, some crazy chunky teeth. So that's quite a nice tooth shape, actually. That's that's turned out all right. Um, but now it's just kind of like, oh, can I use that for anything? Yeah, great tooth icon, Dan. But what are you going to use it for? I do like this one over here. I think this is quite smart. And um, very subtle. I probably have... Dentistry... Something like this. Mixing up the font weights is always a always an easy win. Looks quite smart. Doctor Kai Dentistry. Bit of a smile there on the on the wonk wonky smile. Less 
unless we had them centrally aligned. And then the smile goes around the dentistry. Oh, hello. Hello. Again, I'm going to have to optically align this. Bring that down. Yeah, that looks pretty decent. I might bring in Dr. Kaya Pinch. The tracking's quite wide on that, so we'll squish that together and maybe push that one out a bit more. Whoa, we can change that smile. <laughs> Do a lot there. Thicken it up. And this is the thing, all this is fully editable, which is really, really cool as well. So all these widths, even after you've used the width tool, like if you can see I've chunked up that middle part with the width tool manually. Even if I adjust the stroke, like um, the stroke weight, it remembers that proportion from, um, from the middle. So it will keep the middle bit chunkier even as I change the stroke. I got to go get the kids to bed. Take it easy. Oh, no. <laughs> Good luck with this. Not an easy task. Oh, that's amazing. Well, thank you for joining anyway. Maybe try shading the polygon design. Yeah, possibly. I think that could look quite cool with gradients. Actually, that would look pretty pretty wicked. Make the smile on that one the typical and expected toothbrush. It would be even better if Dr. Kai had a mustache. <laughs> Kai, do you have do you have a mustache? <laughs> Can we get a mustache in there? That would be fabulous. Never a dull moment. But yeah, we're on teeth now. We're on a, doing a teeth logo for Dr. Kai who is a dentist, which I didn't know until today. It's amazing what you learn about people. Fantastic. Okie dokie. Be down, but the wife wouldn't go for it. <laughs> okay, no mustache, no logo mustache. I'd love to put a mustache in the logo though. I like that idea a lot. Very simple and works well. The dentistry could be excluded. Uh, that's a good point. Yes, it could do. Let's try another version. Just while we're kind of on this idea, I mean, let's have a look. We've we've tried a few. <laughs> we tried a few different ideas here. Dr. Kai, Dr. Kai. There we go, change the, whoa, what's going on? Oh no, sad face. <laughs> yeah, could we get that smile to just sort of, go up. See, you see what I'm going with there? Just get it to creep up into that little bit. That would be nice. Hmm. This is a tricky one. Kai. No, 
nah, I'm not sure where I was going with that. <laughs> Possibly Let's get rid of the dot Let's remove the dot Oops, nope There we go, let's get rid of the dot And pop that up there Hey Densky, I recently found your channel and for someone looking to get into Illustrator, you're my go-to. Oh, amazing. That's so great to hear. Thank you. Oh, this is a tricky one. I think to get something that I'm really happy with is the kind of thing that would take a lot longer. What well, We've been doing, what, nearly an hour and a half on this one? Which actually isn't a long time at all, <laughs> working on a logo. So it's kind of like, you know, we've got some good... Um, good starting ideas yeah there's a few ideas of potential here i think i think someone asked earlier on kind of how do you get around creative block i wouldn't say that this is creative block but this is the early stages of um just coming up with a logo and exploring different ideas creative block is really like i can't think of anything um it's just the way it is sometimes some of these take longer than others so what i would probably do is just go away and sit outside and just <laughs> just just go away just just leave um i'd probably just go outside and just do something else that isn't this uh which would be interesting because i might play around with this a bit later actually off camera and um i've done this many many times before where i will uh, i did it with the dove logo as well if you ever watch the dove logo streams we did quite a few bits on camera, but as soon as I was off camera and I was just kind of sat at home in my own space designing, so many different ideas just kind of came into my head. It's just the way it is, uh, unfortunately. It's a, design's a funny old beast. I mean, it's probably because, um, like in that example, it's probably because, you know, when I'm streaming and designing, I'm thinking about a lot of different things. So when I actually just got home and just sat down and was in like just able to relax a bit more and not think about what I'm doing and you know all that stuff, like I think the ideas just kind of came a bit easier. But um, sometimes this is just the way it goes. It does take some some ideas will take a long time. Right, I need to get rid of this text now. There we go. Pop you back. We've gone back to the tooth. I'm just going to Ooh, hang on a second. Connects with the K, connects with the dot sort of. Mm.
just gonna yeah I think with this one what I might have to do is I might have to put a pen in this one and uh, just 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 um, finish the stream with well we had a good time but this one needs a bit more uh, a bit more work because I, I do need to go and see my children <laughs> Because there's, there's a few ideas here. I think there's definitely potential, but they need a bit more time in the oven. Uh, let's get rid of the circle. I wonder if I could. All right, how am I going to do this? So I need to. Chop that off and then cut everything else off and then push this one back but on top. Do you see what I'm I'm going for here? So it's kind of got the, the shape of the tooth. Say an illustrator, how dare you give me an error? Uh, let's just do that for now. Yeah, maybe. So we're kind of, it's a little bit, I wouldn't necessarily say this is like a, the right type of logo for a dentist, but as a cool kind of piece of personal branding, kind of like what we did, we, we did with Quinton's name, you know, we took his name and um, just turned it into something fun. I think taking the name Dr. Kai, there's potential here. I do kind of like that, actually. Maybe the font's not quite right, and we need a sort of uh, slightly more rounded font to just kind of allow for these some of these curves. And here, actually, let's just... Let's just bring this last point down. So I could actually kind of taper that off a little bit, which is nice. And then even here, actually, let's just... Add in like a... Oh, maybe not like that. Uh, Yeah, something like that. So we could play around with that idea or we could just uh, leave it connected. Even though it's rough, like I know obviously all this, this sort of stuff here, this is all what I would point out in design review, but we're not worrying about that now. Uh, it's just really getting the kind of main concept down. I think I need to go and see my kids soon because my face is starting to hurt and I don't think that's normal. <laughs> what is this pain that I'm feeling? Right, let's let's uh white box that as well. Hmm. I'm definitely happier with that than I am with some of the other ones. So Oh, amazing. Thank you, Pickle. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream and hopefully it is valuable, even if it's just me kind of umming and ahhing at the screen. Kids, ah, they can wait. Exactly, Reese. Exactly. <laughs> My three are at school currently, so I'm in the shed designing. Ah. Oh. You got you got your freedom right now then. Oh, I suppose yeah, you're in what are you? Uh is it North Carolina? So you're uh 5 hours behind, something like that. <laughs> Enjoy your time in the shed. Oh. Wish I had a shed. I could scurry off to it. It'd be brilliant. They're eating burgers, they're fine. Yeah, my kids my kids are just eating burgers. They're like, "What dad? We <laughs> Who cares? We've got burgers." 
This one has potential for sure. Just sent what I was visualizing of a tooth to be. Oh, okay. Okie dokie dokie. Oh yeah, that's cool. All right, let me let me copy that. This is what um, a lock in the chat has just sent over. No, it's not that. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, mm. oh, I'll save the attachment. There we go. Where are you? Tooth. Oh, brilliant. Thanks for thanks for sending that over. Yeah. Okay. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. So what we'll do is we'll just take this design and we'll plonk it into here and uh, yeah, this I, I came up with this all on my own. Yeah, so this is, this is, let's have a look. Yeah, I see what you've done there. So it's kind of sort of taking that weird sort of diamondy kind of tooth, I don't know, abstract detail, that kind of concept, but just refining it in a certain, a few certain places. This one down here, I was kind of just, I don't know what I was doing, just making curves and drawing lines that connected to things. But yeah, this looks kind of cool. So I think there's probably a few different ones of that. Um, yeah, no, I do like this one. I do. I know it doesn't look like a, te a tooth or a teeth. I do like it. But I think, yeah, like a lock's done here, it just needs a bit more refining. It's not quite there yet. Less bum-like. Poppy, it is not a bum. We can get you a shed. No, you just put me in the shed all the time. Tome, Dansky face hurting when you miss your kiddos. That's love. Oh, no, I think it's um, I think it's just from streaming for like nearly three hours. <laughs> My brain is like, dude, you need to go and step outside and have a glass of water or something. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. The, okay, I think it's fair to say both of these concepts are sort of half-baked. We're not quite there yet. We're going to have to put a pin in this one for now. Um, but we've definitely got a lot more ideas than we did. We, we've got a lot more variety in those initial concepts than we did with the Quinton one. I think I think Quinton one was uh, was probably a lot more straightforward. This one we're integrating kind of the, the essentially the iconography and the essence of dentistry. Not that dentistry has an essence per se, but you know what I mean. We're, we're doing one that's a bit more visual, so it's going to be more involved. And um, we've got quite a few great uh, initial ideas here. I think this one's probably a standout. Actually, let's just... No, actually, I'm not going. I'm not going to include that one because <laughs> I reckon you'll all vote for it. But um, so. I think we'll take these concepts as early concepts with a grain of salt. Nice big grain of salt. And I'm going to do a little, I'm going to try and do a poll now. So if I were to carry one of these forward and refine it further, uh, start a poll. Ask a question. Which logo design? Uh, I've got a yes or no. Oh, there we go. One or two. Boom. There we go. We've got an official poll now. So what you're voting for is which concept do you think would be good to carry forward out of the two? That bottom abstract one is Magneto's helmet. Don't care what else thinks. <laughs> I suppose, yeah, there's a little bit of that in there, isn't it? Oh, it's close, though. People are still voting. Do I, I don't get a vote, do I? No. <laughs> I actually... Uh, I'd, so here, here's where I stand on these ones. I think, I think as an actual logo that I would, would do for a client... Um, who works as a dentist, I would probably go with something like this. Or a different concept that actually I haven't even thought of yet. And I would refine that. But in terms of, 
you know creativity and trying to come up with something clever and all that kind of jazz i'd probably go with this one um just because it's really interesting the way the kind of you know the tooth kind of goes around it and i don't know i kind of like that but the results are in and we've got uh, a note they're still going people are still voting i'm gonna have to stop the poll Honestly, depending on the target audience. Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest. Like, We're not really working too much to a brief here. We're kind of keeping it loose just so we can be creative and have fun, really. And I can kind of just demo my thought process. It's a blessing being a remote designer and having three kiddos under 10. When you say remote designer, do you mean like remote from your family? As in you're in the shed at the bottom of the garden. That's remote. <laughs> The shed is fully climate controlled, basically a glorified living room. Oh, nice. God, live in the dream, eh? Two is so regular, definitely not Dansky land. <laughs> yeah, I think the font as well. Okay, let's end the poll because we'll be here all night. Right, so 50, uh, number two. Number two took it with um, 58%. As a logo to carry forward. The second one looks like a distorted controller. <laughs> well, this is the thing. You know, I might sit, wake up tomorrow morning, look at both of these and go, what on earth was I smoking to make something like that? Because we know that this is a, a tooth, but someone else looking at this might be like, whoa. In fact, I think you could apply that logic to both of them. Someone who hasn't been on this stream might look at these and go, um, okay. Yeah, not really feeling it. Do you stream often, CyberKid says. Uh, yeah, twice a week. On a Tuesday, we're doing design review. And on a, what's normally a Thursday, but is today, um, is Dansky Live, where I kind of do some actual designy things. Yes to all definitions of remote. Nice. Just fully remote in every way. My fave is the one with the face. Yeah, I think we can all agree that regardless of one or two, this one, th this is just logo of the day right there. <laughs> oh, amazing. This has been such fun. Uh, I do have to go and see my children now, though. Um, I know, unfortunately, I'm terribly sorry. Just kidding. Boys, if you're watching, I love you. They're probably not watching though. They're probably still eating their burgers. But yeah, look, we've got we've got like quite a nice variety of ideas here. And remember, this is all just early stuff. So um you know, there was a, even an idea over here that kind of didn't really have any particular dentistry uh, iconography and it was just more it's pretty clean and simple. Um there was this one I, I sort of didn't really explore that too much but there's another one there yeah possibly something down here maybe i didn't really spend too much time on the font it was more kind of about getting something interesting i do you know i gotta be honest i do like that one there is something really clean and simple i'm you know i'm gonna i'm gonna promote this design this design's getting a promotion I'm going to bring this over. There is something clean and professional about that one that I quite like. Yeah, I do like that. I don't think it's fully realized quite yet. I do like it. When I open my own practice, definitely slapping googly hide McGee on the side of my building. <laughs> can you make one pupil bigger than the other? Of course I can, but I'm not going to because I, I would I would quite like to come home and have some dinner now. <laughs> oh amazing. Right, wow. That was a hefty three hour stream. Jeez. Oh, I'm going to go and um, 
try and get some sunlight now if the sun is still here which it probably isn't but uh, it's been fantastic guys so thank you to everyone in the uh, in the chat for such amazing ideas and contributions i'm sorry that i didn't understand half of them uh it's it's difficult for me to understand sometimes what uh, what people are getting at but before i go um if you'd like to jump onto a free 30 minute webinar the next one is in two hours and 50 minutes at nine o'clock uk time here is the link it's 30 minutes of adobe illustrator if you're new to illustrator and you want a solid foundation of the basics this is the stream uh, this is sorry, the webinar to watch it will um it will go over all of the basics and just kind of give you a solid foundation to get you started making stuff in illustrator and then if you want to check out the full course as well there is uh, there will be a link with a code and all that business you know the thing you know the, you know the score by now but yeah that's the link if you'd like to join tonight's webinar and uh yeah dive headfirst into adobe illustrator so thank you very much to everyone for joining the stream it's been absolutely fantastic nick we've just finished i'm sorry mate we've just finished i'm off to see my children um oh amazing oh, i'm glad you enjoyed it leila that's fantastic <sighs> You're welcome, Reese. It's been an absolute pleasure. Guys, you're all amazing. Thank you so much. And you, yes, you do get a saucy 15% off the course. The course that will teach you everything that I know in my brain. I've just, I've put it into a course now. So uh, now you can know everything I know about Illustrator, which is great. Right, have a good weekend. And um, yeah, I'll see you soon.